Hi there, Jay Tedeschi here. Today we're going to take a look at drawings in Inventor Pro 2016. We'll start by taking a look at the new layout environment. Uh, we have a very nice uh, addition here with Inventor 2016, the ability to rescale views merely by dragging on the corners, repositioning the view is much simpler. Um, the previews are a lot more uh, comprehensive than they were in years past. Um, so very quickly we're able to uh, lay out our drawing views. We'll select some options here such as tangent edges and foreshortened. And let's create a couple of auxiliary views. So I'll select an edge and then pull perpendicular to that edge. Do the same thing here. Grab the edge, perpendicular to the edge. And on this one, we're going to do a breakout view because we just need to detail that little tab right there. So we'll start by selecting the view and creating a sketch. Now, you know, this is all on me. I, I just kind of want the, the breakout view to be a bit more um, stylistic than just a simple rectangular breakout. So I'll use a spline curve here to generate the uh, area which is going to be removed from this view. All right, let's go to breakout. We'll select the view. The sketch is automatically highlighted. We'll indicate that we want to punch all the way through the part and pick the part. And there we go. There's our breakout view. Very quick, very simple. Uh, really just uh, necessitates the need to create a sketch that's uh, attached to that uh, to the view that you want to do the breakout on. Now let's start by just uh, for an auxiliary view uh, which is perpendicular. We're going to use a section command. It's an interesting little technique but it works very well. Um, so we're use, doing a section but it's a view and the nice thing about doing the section is that the view itself is only uh, goes to the extents of the section line. So that's why I started small uh, so that I could control the parallelism of that section line uh, and then extended it. Change the ISO view to uh, shaded. And now let's uh, go ahead and uh, change some of the properties in the title block. These are all tied to the properties of the part. So for example, the author's name, that's me. Uh, company, this is Adept Air Motive. And then some of the other uh, project um, just some of the other project information. Now one of the reasons for doing this uh, th some of the properties on this dialog on this title block will be automatically updated uh, based on the properties of the part. So for example material, finish, uh, things of that nature, also the file name itself. However uh, some of these other properties can be populated uh, through any one of a number of um, techniques. In this case I'm doing it manually. Uh, this is uh, fairly important especially if we're working with data management uh, tools which will leverage that information. Uh, those are all searchable properties by the way. At this point let's take a look at using some of the model dimensions that were created during the uh, you know the sketch process and the modeling process itself. Now these dimensions can always be retrieved at any time and placed on the on the body of the drawing. Now as you can see over that, remember the, the auxiliary view that we did the breakout on, we have some model dimensions there as well. Now one of the nice things about using model dimensions is that these are bidirectionally associative so any change to these dimensions will affect a change upon the model itself. So the model geometry can be changed directly here from the drawing. Use the automated centerline uh, command to uh, place that centerline right there a second ago. And let's go back to what I was talking about with the editing of the model dimensions. We'll change this, the diameter of this hole from 5 millimeters to 6.5. Let's go back to the model itself and uh, just so that you can see that, uh, what actually happened there. So behind the scenes, we were able to select that uh, sketch dimension or that feature dimension, edit it from the, from the drawing, have it change the model and the, uh, the drawing automatically updates as well. Alright, let's go ahead and save that. Now we're going to take a look at uh, one of the nice workflows here with uh, 
the utilization of DWG as a common drawing format type and that is the ability of uh, utilizing the best tool for the job. Now in this case Product Design Suite uh, of which Inventor Pro 2016 is part uh, also includes uh, AutoCAD Mechanical. Now as you can see what we're doing here is actually placing using AutoCAD to do what AutoCAD is good at which is annotation. So uh, an AutoCAD I'm able to start the drawing in Inventor then open it the same DWG file in AutoCAD and in AutoCAD place the you know do something like note placement of notes. Now back here in Inventor there's the same drawing again so we've round tripped it we started it in Inventor opened it in AutoCAD, edited the annotation of the drawing in AutoCAD, and then went back to Inventor. Now we're going to take a look at uh, utilizing presentation views uh, in Inventor. Uh, in this case we're going to um, create an exploded uh, assembly view of this uh, bypass valve for Adept. We'll change the scale to 2, 2 to 1 and we'll just place that right there. Let's edit the view. Let's go back to the shaded. That, that actually looks really good. And now let's go ahead and balloon these items. We'll select the view, select the components, and now we'll place our balloons and another new enhancement of Inventor Pro 2016 is the ability to align the balloons with a model edge. So let's go ahead and select the balloons. Let's select the edge we want to align them with and then just position the balloons. That's really slick. All right, finally, uh, let's take a look at the ability uh, to detail inventor models themselves directly in AutoCAD Mechanical. So we'll select the inventor model and then uh, this should look fairly similar to anybody that ever used mechanical desktop. And everybody remember that? That's that's going way back here. Uh, however, uh, it utilizes the same drawing manager uh, layout techniques, uh, which were in uh, mechanical desktop. So here in AutoCAD, in a uh, drawing layout, I'm able to place my drawing views. These are placed directly from the model. Uh, these are not bidirectionally associative uh, as we saw with uh, Drawing Manager and Inventor. However, these will automatically update uh, if the, the model itself is changed in Inventor. These drawing views here will update to reflect those changes. So this is a live link into the Inventor model. As you can see, there's a number of different types of views that we can place. So I've done a couple of orthographic views, a section view. Now let's create a detail view. Select the center of our view. Place the view itself. Drag the detail down. And then that's it. Uh, dimensioning, uh, you know, again, one of the beautiful things about using AutoCAD is that its strength is in annotation. Uh, and for that, it really has no peer. So um, that's, we're using this product for what it's good, at, good for. Um, and there are a lot of people out there who know how to use AutoCAD. So with that, I want to thank you for your time. And I look forward to talking to you all again very soon.